things that do it that way. And I mean, we could presumably yeah. do some post-processing where we look at text HTML documents, we try to parse out script tags, um, things of that nature, um, and we're aware that, that that is a weakness that we're only looking at samples that were identified either as, I think, application X hyphen JavaScript and text slash JavaScript. Um, but as you know, you can throw some script tags in your HTML document and it'll be executed. So that's, that's another thing we'd like to add is basically doing some post-processing on the various uh, HTML or text or XML documents that we pull back looking for scripts within those and then storing them off for analysis. Yep. Right, right. So yeah, it's the, it's the. Right, right. Right. Yeah, we, we didn't tackle that because um, we, we were trying to focus more in on uh, getting some results and, and uh, the core of the research to kind of fingerprint these things. Um, and we didn't really want to bite off that problem as it can be pretty challenging. Right here. Right. right. And uh, you don't need to uh, pay attention to email because it will show another bit. Right. Um, so I, I guess uh, the first point is that even if this was a commercial software project, the bad guys would go buy it if, they, if it was of value to them. They have money. Uh, obviously, this, they, nowadays it's done for profit, and um, they will have the resources to purchase this if they so chose. Uh, and that's, that's exactly right. Um, you know, I really wasn't that. Your second comment was about Opera, and it has a hook, or has an object within Opera that would that we could hook possibly and and detect those embedded scripts. Um, I, honestly, I, I'm not that familiar with the internals of Opera, but that sounds like something promising. I could almost imagine um, using Opera as a tool to pull out the scripts from the content and then and analyze them further. Thanks. And over here. So the question is, have we looked at heuristics to detect heap spray activity? And um, the answer is not exactly. It's included in the, in the malicious traffic that we've analyzed. Uh, those four examples, I'm not sure if any of those included it, but there's various other malicious scripts. And some of them have had it, some of them have not. But we haven't exclusively focused on the heap spray techniques. That, Though that is a growing concern and used quite a bit these days. I mean, almost intuitively, it might be easier to detect that kind of attack because it seems to be very noisy. I mean, in a sense, very noisy. Um, so, yeah, that may be some low-hanging fruit in terms of detecting that sort of thing versus, you know, a downloader, which might look more similar to an ad syndication or something. Good idea. All right. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up. If you one. have any more questions, y'all yeah, can come up to the front. And we're more than happy to talk to you. Thank you all very much. Thank you.